in this lecture we will be able to write our name and actually join a room. Let's begin. Once I log into the lobby, I want to join a room. A room is the place where the game is basically happening, so it's really important to actually join it. If I am not the first player who joined the game, I will be able to just join a room and start playing. But if I am the first player who joined the game, I wouldn't be able to join a room, because currently there aren't anyone open. So what we'll do in this situation is to actually create a room by ourselves and we'll join it and start playing. Let's make it work in Unity. So let's create a new empty game object called Lobby Manager. We're going to add a script to it called Lobby Manager as well. And let's drag the script into the scripts folder. We are going to use the namespace photon.pan. And we are going to create a method from our own. It will be a public void method. And we are going to call it join or create room. We are going to call this method when we press on the create or join room button in the lobby. What we will write in here is going to be photo network dot join random room. And this is the part where we are trying to check if there are currently any open room or we need to create it by ourselves. Let's change the mono behavior to mono behavior pan callbacks. And now we can search for public override void. And we are going to search for on join random field. Make sure you entered on join random field and not on join room field. It's really important because it's not the correct method. In the on join random field, we are going to write photo network dot create one. And that is the basically the presentation that I showed you before. We are trying to join a room, and if we are not the first player, we will actually join it. But if we are the first player, then we are going to create this room by ourselves. Currently, we have an error. That's because we didn't enter the room name. I'm actually going to leave it as null, because I don't want the room to have any name. But we are still not done, because if you want, you can actually change the room options. And room options is pretty important. So let's say that I want to create a room which has a maximum player's number. For example, two. We can actually make it in here. But if we want to use room options, we actually need to create a new namespace called using photon.realtime. And now we can continue. So, new room options, open brackets, max players, equals, for example, two. And that's it. You can set it to whatever you want. So it can be two, five, or even no max players at all, so everyone can join the same room. It's up to you. Last thing that I want to do is search for public override void. And we are going to search for unjoined room. And what we're going to do once we actually join the room, and by the way, uh, this method is called after we created the room and also after we joined the random room. So it will work for both of these options. After we join the room, I want to load the level game, just like we did between the loading and the lobby scenes. So that is photo network dot load level. And we're going to write in here game. The final thing we need to do is to actually make this game scene. So we go into scenes, create scene, and make sure it's spelled the same as the code. And of course, final touch, I did to the build settings. And now let's go to the loading scene and test the game. You can write your name. And let's join the room. Right now it's not working because we actually forgot to add the script that we just created into the join button. So the action here, I'm going to drag the lobby manager and call the join or create room method that we created in the start of our script right here. Back in Unity, now everything should work. So we load, we write our name. Fantastic, that's exactly what we want and it works perfectly. Right now it's really empty, but in the next lecture we are actually going to create an environment and set it up here. So, see you there.